going on everyone? Skiz1 here. Today we have another episode of our graffiti freight train watching series. Today we're obviously a little bit cramped. Shouldn't be a problem. I'll put the wide angle lens on, give everyone the look they need at some of the great tags, the throws, the pieces on these sort of moving art galleries that are here for anyone who's smart enough to look at them. So it's great that all of you are here looking at them right now. I'm gonna get right into it. Shout out to show. I put the super wide angle lens on here so that you can see everything you need to see here. That being said, <laughs> I still don't know if I can get this in here for you. Wow. Shout out to Glock for this massive whole car. Exactly, whole car, baby. It's never not great to see a whole car. We've seen this one in a previous episode, which I will link on screen for you. That episode in particular had a lot of great stuff that I pointed out the color schemes for. Very sharp. Um, color schemes just like this, very bright outline colors. It was a clinic on how to make your pieces stand out. I'll link it in the corner in the description if you want to check it out. As always, Runel up in our episodes here. Ooh, that is a very bright uh, solid marker. What I'm thinking is that's gotta be, it looks a little too thick to be a Markle and it too bright too. So I'm guessing it's a recent Sakura. I don't know. What, what do you think it is actually? I'll give you guys another look at it. We got Spam, shout out to Spam. Last episode, I guessed that this was a Mason piece. Just saying, I was right. One thing I do want to say that is important and will improve how long your pieces last. This is something that can directly and easily improve how long your pieces last. If you look on this mason piece, you can see that whatever green paint he used there is lasting, frankly, a lot better than the other colors here. That's especially clear over here. If you ever do pieces on freights, I'm not saying you should or shouldn't, but if you ever do and you're able to catch some of the freights that you've done years later, which does happen fairly frequently, they'll double back into your area from wherever. If you catch some of your older freights, you will be able to see what colors in what brands of paint are holding up best. You just have to remember what brands you were using at that time when you did that piece, which sometimes is easier said than done. But if you can figure out what kind of paint that was, you now know what's gonna hold up. So that can be a very, very easy yet important tool to making your pieces last longer. So that is how to make your pieces last longer. Obviously not the most direct method you can use, but it's one of the methods that you'll learn over the years as a free writer, I guess. Got an SR piece there. Nice. We got a deucer here, I believe. Uh, I, I think I was able to talk to deucer a little bit on Instagram. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, but yeah, great to see that. This is pretty much faded out. I can't really tell you what it was, but that's from the writing history crew, writing history. They're big and they're good. I like I like their work. Personally, I don't know any of them, but I've seen obviously some of the members on the freights here and they're usually killing it, you know? 
Unfortunately, there's a big patch job over this. Unfortunately, the whole bottom here was patched too. And let that be a lesson to you guys as to why it's important to just to tape over the letters, especially on these hoppers, because the hoppers and freights specifically, they get patched over like brutal. The patch jobs they do on these cars can ruin entire pieces, even if 30% of the piece is patched over. That's massive, it ruins the whole thing. This whole car, I got a great view of it in one of the episodes of season one of our freight train watching series here. I'll link that episode on screen now and in the description because it was one of the best episodes in terms of full scale production pieces on freights. And you'll get a better look at that one there if you wanna check it out. Anything by uh, Runel is too big and spaced out for me to get a full picture view between freights of it, unfortunately. Um, yeah, wow. This piece in particular is a great lesson in terms of color combination specifically. Honestly, chrome and black with any background color, you're set. And, and that's uh, clear here. In this particular piece that was taken one step further, you would have been fine with chrome and black and a background blue, but these yellow 3D highlights, gorgeous. This even lighter blue around those edges to make it pop from the background even more. Absolutely gorgeous. Personally, maybe I overdo it sometimes, but what I would have done is just done some nice white in the chrome as well, but it's all down to personal preference. I wish I could give you guys a better look at this piece, but it is what it is, and what it is is great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish off on that note. I highly encourage everyone to take a look at the rest of season two of our graffiti freight train watching series. It's a great series to break out the sketchbook, start sketching and just throw the series on. I've heard from a few people that that's what they do and I, that, that's that's awesome you can check out a couple of the episodes that i mentioned specifically in this one on screen now i hope to see you over there in those very soon until then peace